favorite assignment may not be my student's favorite assignment always, but it's called a keyword wiki. And I got the idea from a conference I attended in uh, UBC. And so what it is is a wiki page. So all the students are authors to a web page. And they have to choose three keywords from the readings that week that they think were important. Um, I also throw in some other things just to help them learn how to use various technology resources. Like I have them define it um, according to the Ox Oxford English Dictionary. And then we talk about um, other things such as publicly accessible um, resources, which the Oxford English Dictionary is not publicly accessible unless you belong to a library. So we build in a lot of um, topics about information literacy in this assignment. And then they have to define that word and link out to three, again, publicly accessible resources. So it can't be an article that's housed in a library where you have to log on because unless you're a student, you can't access that article. So students not only reflect about the content, but then they learn how to make hyperlinks, how to link to other resources like a TED Talk. Um, they can also cross-link to each other's posts, so it becomes a really interactive um, page and a wealth of resources. So if, every, if you have 10 students and every student has three keywords, by the end of the assignment you have 30 really well-defined words that relate to the reading and that also link out to 30 resources. And so I've kind of covered a couple areas then. They learn the content, they learn the technology skills, they learn how to problem solve. They build this amazing resource that now is open to anyone. Um, you have the opportunity to keep it closed so that you have to log in. But again, when we're talking about publicly accessible resources, I'd like to make it public for anyone to access. The other um, assignment I would say is an introductory video. So this is the student's very first assignment, which it kind of uh, is challenging and a little bit scary for some because not only do they have to create a video, but I also require them to be quite creative. So I've increased the cognitive load drastically. Um, the only good thing is they know themselves better than anyone else. So the requirement is that they put together a less than five minute video introducing themselves and they cannot use a series of, or timeline of their life. That's one of the main restrictions. So I encourage them to think about an I am from poem or really think about who they are and how they can present themselves creatively. And I found then they also post it on YouTube or Vimeo or another hosting site and look at each other's. And I found it's been a great way to build community because people put just enough about themselves that it encourages conversation and inquiry. And so then the students begin to dialogue about who they are, where they're from, what their life experiences have been.